All right, this video is to show how I use my iPad and the Doceri app to write on my notes packets, my PDF notes packets, uh, because if you're like me, today's March 13th, my school district just announced that we will be canceling all classes until spring breaks over, so I won't see my kids again until April 6th. So maybe this video will help you make a video with Doceri. So I'm gonna start with opening the Doceri app, and you notice it brings up my desktop screen right away. So my iPad and my desktop are linked through the Doceri desktop app on my computer and the Doceri app on my iPad. As long as they're on the same Wi-Fi connection, uh, then my iPad can display, as you see right here, this is my Doceri screen, it can display uh, my desktop. So looking at my desktop, I've already got my notes packet here as a PDF. I'm gonna put this onto full screen mode, which by the way, if you're gonna make a video in Doceri, it's nice to have this uh, as the same HD settings which is 1440 by 990 or by 900. Let's see what my settings are at. So display settings for my computer. There we go, 1440 by 900. Those are the standard HD dimensions. Uh, it's, not, it's not a big deal if you don't have that because YouTube can just fix them for you. So let's go ahead and look at this in full screen. There we go, and let's zoom in to make it look nicer when I write it on the iPad. And this is also, by the way, how I teach for my classes that aren't flipped. I use the iPad to teach uh, in front of the room in this same fashion. Right? I can mark this up. I'm going to use the overwrite feature, so I'm going to tap this little pin here in the top left corner. There we go, I turned it on. So now I can actually write and do whatever I want on this PDF document. So now I'm writing on this in front of the class or making a video with it. And it's essentially just taking a screenshot of that PDF. So I'm going to turn that overwrite feature off, and then maybe I need to scroll down and take some notes down here. So I'm gonna overwrite again, turn that back on. Again, I can write, do whatever I'd like. There's all sorts of drawing tools that you can use in Doceri, right? There's squares, circles, ellipses, dotted line, dashed lines, all sorts of markers, arrows. You can do whatever you'd like. And if I go back to the underwrite, now I've taken a couple screenshots. If I look at my folder here, uh, those are my two recent desktop captures that I've got right there. I could just overlay them and merge them into one big drawing so that when I'm going through them through class, right, I could just flip through like so and still mark them however, however I would like because essentially now they're just screenshots that I'm writing on. And if you'd like to make a video, you press record, you notice the Doceri app is now recording and so I can do whatever I'd like, say some things and then either pause it or stop the recording, let's say we stop it. You notice I've already got some recordings in there um, let's say you said something that you didn't like, you want to go back and delete it. So it's nice to just record in little bits. And then once you're happy with what you've got, you can overlay those recordings and make them into one big video. So let's say I didn't like this part right here. I'm going to go ahead and trash that piece. But the other two pieces, those would make a really nice video. So we've got a five second clip and a nine second clip. I'm going to go ahead and tag this one right there and let's make a new video that's now 14 seconds long and when you're done with that you can just directly upload it to YouTube make a title whatever you'd like and there you have it hopefully this helps you if you're like me uh, you got to come up with solutions for the time being because well you might be doing some e-learning faster than you think